Esmeralda Strange and I do the music for the life-size board game of Mousetrap. I'm a one-woman band. I play accordion and drums and sing all at the same time. And I also help with the setup and the teardown of the Mousetrap. And I just wrote a CD for the show called How to Defy Gravity with Six Simple Machines. And it has songs about the six simple machines, friction, gravity, scientific inquiry, and some other stuff for the kids. Uh, for you, kids, for all the kids that like the board game mouse trap and the life size mouse trap and being really, really, really silly. And uh, you can rub your tummy and pat your head at the same time if you want, and then maybe you'll get an idea how hard it is to play the accordion and drums and sing all at the same time. That, that is, I, I Thanks! Watching, <laughs> I, was, I was watching that, how, how you're doing all three things at the same time. I mean, I, do, do you have a, uh, a, a, a long uh, musical background that, that you're able to, to handle all those at the same time? You know, actually, no. The funny thing is, too, is that I learned how to do them all together. So now I'm going back and learning how to play accordion separately. Because, like, I'm a one-trick pony with a really good trick right now. How did you uh, come to become involved with the mouse the giant mouse trap? Um, I played Mark Perez who created the mouse trap did a, an artist's haunted barn every year and I used to perform at that and um, I was just had my one woman band in my room and Mark's I ran into him walking down the street and I'd been four tracking some music and he said come play a benefit for the life size mouse trap and I said okay and I saw the mouse trap at the benefit and said who's doing the music for your show and he said I don't know I guess you are and uh, so it's been eight years and that's how it started. So you guys travel all around? We do yes we've been to Burning Man we've been to Austin Texas Detroit New York City we're going to Florida this fall as well. Um, so we have a 53 foot trailer that the mouse trap fits in and a 40 foot bus that seven of us live in together like sailors in a submarine. We are, oh, there was one show. There's, okay, it's, it's a debate because Mark will say, well, we had a successful chain reaction. So, and he'll count how many full successful ones there are. And I think they're all successes. Um, because even if something doesn't work, you still learn. And it's kind of fun. It builds suspense when things don't work. And come on, realistically, nobody got the board game to work. So, and everyone when watching The Mousetrap should remember that. But there was one show in San Mateo where every single trigger failed. And that, that was a pretty epic show. Um, our first test run. But we worked it out, and by the end of the event, um, full chain reaction, 